Hey, so welcome. Can you guys hear my voice? I'll just wait a sec for that lag to catch up. All right, sweet. Well, I'm dissing it. Um, on the New York Modular Society channel, and I'm gonna be messing around with the vector sequencer for a little while tonight. See how much I can get out of two steps only. What you just heard was not that, um, but maybe an example of something I could try to get to. I have no idea, but we'll see. We'll see what I can do. So I'm, um, I'm going to uh, stop this chord. At least I thought I was going to stop it. There we go. All right. For those of you that are not familiar, this is the 512 vector sequencer. It is basically a two-channel sequencer. But if you get the jack expander, which is up here, just barely in view, uh, makes it into six channels, which is kind of cool. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is start with that voice that you heard at the beginning, this thing, and we'll see what we can do there. Um, this is run up in the top left. Uh, and there's like presets on this in the top right. You can see I have two presets. I'm going to go to a clean one and, uh, oops, I'm not on the part. Sorry. There we go. Now I'm on the clean one. To switch parts, these are eight parts that are down here. If you hold down this blue button and click on one of those, then you switch parts. I was uh, on part one and needed to be on part two. Each track has a bunch of settings that are possible. So it starts on step one, um, sets the length. You can go all the way up to 16 steps. But in this case, what we're gonna do is go down to two steps. Um, and then you have various other options, the direction of the track, where the reset happens, the speed, um, how that works, whether it's musical divisions, uh, percent, other things like that. And then you can transpose and switch octaves also. So let's start by chucking in a couple of gates here. There's one. And I'm also going to disable the effects. And let me know if you can hear uh, what's happening. I can always turn things up if I need to. Um, so I'm clicking on pitch now, and I'm going to bring the pitch down. Yeah. Sure, there we go. As you can see, this is gate length. So now it only sounds like one gate because those gates are tied. Um, can go really short if we want to, or much faster, or not faster, but longer. All right, so this is pretty boring sounding. Let's uh, go down a full octave. I can barely hear it. How do the levels look for you? Pretty low, actually. Let's see what we can do about that. Okay, cool. Two octaves. So 
what I'm going to do now is slow it down, go back to the rate over here, and we're going to go down to eighth notes. Just so we can get a little bit of distance in between those notes. I'm also going to set the gate lengths to slightly different lengths. We'll do a long and a shorter one. Cool. Each step has a bunch of chance operations. So I'm going to start there. Um, and I'm going to work on step two for a second. So I just entered into the chance menu. Um, there's multiple pages in this menu. On this page, it gives you a ton of different chance operations um, within this. I don't remember what they all are and often have to consult uh, the manual to figure out what they are. But in this case, this is a ratchet. And uh, the next page is the probability. So that's about a 50% chance right there that that's going to happen, which is kind of a cool thing. And now I'm going to go over to step one and go back to the type over here. What I'm going to do is... Let's have this go up seven notes. So still got a two step sequence here, but there's a bit of variation happening. It's a little bit more complicated than it was. Um, that's about as far as you can get because you can't stack chance operations. You can only pick one chance operation per step on this. I'm going to try uh, some other ways to make this variable, but I did hear that it is possible the developer and manufacturer is going to be working on this. Okay, I'm going to check out some of these notes. Okay, so if it's still pretty quiet, let me see what I can do about this. Yeah, it, it's just it's it's not a synth, it's a sequencer. Um so is that better? Volume wise? Does it need to be louder or alright, we're good. Cool. Excellent. Alright, so two-step sequence with some variation happening. I'm um I'm going to go to a different part of this right now. Um, this white button over here says modulation underneath it. What that is, is there's, for every track, there's the regular sequence, but then there's two sub-sequences um, for each track that are modulation sequences. So see, this is mod sub-sequence one. It also has a length. That can only be up to eight steps or less. Um, it has a direction, it has a rate, and uh, then the parameters that it affects, the range in which it affects it, and then whether it's on or off. The parameters that it can affect are fairly limited. There's transposition, there's octaves, there's the rate, which is really fun and weird. I'll show you that. Um, then the direction and the start, like where does it start? And that's it. So.
So right now I'm going to do octave and uh, I'm also going to slow the rate down. We're going to go mm, yeah, we're going to go whole notes and uh, the second page of this is basically how much it affects everything. But I'm going to turn it on first, enable, right here, and go to the second page. And then on the third step, I'm going to go up one octave. I'm also going to go back a page and um, set the length down to four steps. So now on this step, You'll hear what's happening. Again, this is still just a two-step sequence. Let's, for fun, go down an octave on the last one. Sounds stupid. All right. So subsequencer two um, is... I'm going to wait on subsequencer two because I want to go back to the gates. Up here along the top, this middle gray button is the length of each note. And what that means is musical divisions. So this one is half the speed of this step right here. So this is where I'm going to stick right now. Um, okay. That's actually kind of interesting. Uh, let's do a bass line, actually. And then uh, we can come back to this. So I'm going to switch over to the... CSL, which is out of view from all of you right now, and get onto a clean preset. So, all right. And the first thing I'm going to do again is restrict this down to two steps. And, uh, you know, for now, I'm going to leave that kind of fast just because it'll be fun. And, uh, Let's go ahead and give it a couple of gates and then unmute it. It's much louder. Hold on. You might be getting clipping. So I'm going to turn that way down. Sorry, I have it side chained to a kick right now. It's also a lot of modulation happening. Yeah, the CSL is the one that's the base right now. Alright, so sort of similar to what I did with the uh, I'm gonna uh, go down an octave and uh, as far as 
all the other settings go. May just may just leave this one as is right now. Um, but we'll do a chance operation on the second one, muting it every so often. So the chance that it actually hits. But I am going to use the subsequencer a bunch here. So on this one, I'm going to go back down again. Four steps and we're gonna go whole notes also on this transposition turn it on all right might be kind of subtle I'm going to turn off the first That sounds pretty good. Let's see what else we can do. So this is subsequencer two. What I'm gonna do is try something weird here. We're gonna go five steps. And we're going to go back up to um, 16 so that it's totally in sync uh, with what's happening right now. And instead of transpose, we're going to have it on octave. And uh, I'm just going to do, let's say out of this five steps, I'm going to do, I'll do the third step. So this is adding a fair amount of variation to what would otherwise be an extremely boring and static two-step sequence. All right, so let's uh, go to the kit and we'll see if we can get something fun going on the kit. Um, because clearly a two-step sequence would be a real easy thing with a kick. Let's, uh, restrict this to two steps. And uh, we're going to mess with the timing on the second one, so I'm going to go back to the step length. Alright, that sounds pretty good to me. On uh, the 
base channel. I want to see what happens if I side chain that with this right now. Hold on. hearing it because it's happening too often. I wonder if we keep the second step quiet, but the length, it definitely still seems to respect the length. I didn't know that, even if it doesn't have a kick on it or a gate on it. All right, so that's kind of wonky. Let's get something in there to offset it a little bit. Um, I'm gonna switch the part over to my snare and uh, go on to a clean preset and switch that down to two steps. And for this one right now, I'm going to keep it pretty straightforward and simple. Um, going to reduce the rate. Pretty off kilter. Uh, this is velocity. I don't think that I have anything set up on this output right now for um, the snare, but I, I think what I might do is change the sound of it a little bit. Okay, three, four two-step sequences down. I want to go back to the initial thing that I started off with because it sounded a little crazy. I'm curious how it sounds now. It sounds a little psychotic. Let's, uh... Let's zero out a few things and see what we can do. So I'm just gonna disable that one uh, subsequence for now. And then I'm gonna go back Back to kind of don't mind the length or the extra ratchet uh, chance modulation the seven I'd like to know what this whole entire thing sounds like uh, up a full octave.
Alright, I'm gonna change the pitch, which is up an octave from this, to... Yeah, sometimes too much variation is not a good thing. Um, if there's any questions anyone has about any of this, this is completely an ad hoc stream right now, so I have uh, no plan in particular. But I am going to level some of these sounds a bit. we are. That's kind of fun. So that's randomly tying those notes now. I think I'm going to go back to the uh, subsequence and see what happens when I turn that back on now. of an interesting thing happening. Well, 
wat... Uh... I just side-chained that as well. not always constant and that kick cuts through a little bit better but it also just sounds a little bit more fun all right let's uh let's try for a little bit of a hi-hat something in here Zero that out. Let's go down to two steps. And uh, let's, uh, let's try something really crazy. No, not with the hi-hat. Well, I'm going to do that with a different noise. Um, OK, so hi-hat, gate. Tightening the hi-hat up a little bit. Okay. So, let's see. What can we do with the hi-hat? Let's, uh... If you hit gate again, it's got a different page. We're gonna add a little bit of swing to the hi-hat by offsetting it. And, uh... We're going to do a little bit of random velocity on the second note. So let's hit chance. And I think this one is the velocity. I think that's down, that's up. And that's just as high as it can be. I am uncertain, but I guess we'll find out. Um, There's definitely some variation happening there. Go back to this kick for a moment and see if there's something fun we can do over there. Okay. We got one gate, and the other one's a really weird length at four steps. Uh, all right, let's see what we can do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch this back and we're gonna slow the rate down, but I'm 
now I am going to give it some subsequence love. We'll keep this simple and we'll start with two steps on the subsequence. Alright, and uh, on this, we're gonna try rate and see what the heck happens. This is gonna be wacky. All right, so right now it's changing every quarter note. It's changing the rate from quarter note rate to quarter note triplets. And now it's dotted eighth. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, put a gate and then we get this kind of weird syncopated kick thing happening. And uh, I think I have a little bit of velocity on this one too. So if I go into chance, um, let's actually set the velocity higher on the first one, a little lower on the second, and then uh, we'll go into chance. And uh, actually, I wonder what would happen if we jump this step every so often. So J will jump the step. That'll be forward or backward. That'll be backward. Um, and that'll be forward. But since it's only two steps, that means it's just going to skip and go straight back to one. But it could be interesting. I don't know find out. Gonna tighten up that kick. I'm also gonna tighten up the side chain. snare is really stupid sounding. <laughs> Sounds psychotic. <laughs> it's kind of an interesting, wonky sort of beat, but it is definitely crazy. Alright. Yeah, there's a BIA there. And uh, I'm actually going to add that in. Right now, let's go ahead and do that. Um, actually, let's see. I think you're already hearing it by mistake. Um, there. Let's 
make that two steps. Let's slow you down to quarter note triplets because why the hell not? Everything's so crazy. Got uh, the gates for the BIA going to a uh, sapel, so um, I have some timed random modulation out. Uh, kind of slowing things down here and there. Uh, all of a sudden, the kick has lost its subsequencing. I probably turned it to a rate that can't be changed. All right, so let's go back to the BIA and let's add some weird rate subsequencing. So something I do sometimes when I'm using this sequencer is I'll have two lanes, um, maybe one running at three, that's subsequencer two, and the other subsequencer maybe running at five, um, and uh, I'll slow the rates down to close to whole notes. We'll do a whole and a half for now. Actually, we're gonna do them completely off. So a dotted quarter note and a whole. And then 
we'll do rate on this, enable that, and back on sub sequencer one, we will also do rate and enable that. So now you've got two sub sequences, both changing the rate of the BIA. I'm gonna put this in here before I actually go and edit these now. Now you can see they're all quarter note triplets at the moment. I'm gonna go slower, a little faster, even slower, a little slower, and then we'll bring that one a little faster. kind of fun, you know? So now I'm going to jump into Subsequencer 2, which only has three steps in it. And uh, we'll do the same. We'll go like... Mm. Wow, I've lost everything. And then it's kind of fun to go in and mess with these rates of these subsequencers. So those things happen more frequently or less frequently. Um, so nothing's really ever aligned and it becomes quite generative and can sound very cool, especially when you have modulation uh, that's synced with it going to a module like the BIA. Let's get another uh, random out to the BIA. Let's try it on the decay. like some cyber tabla player uh, from Blade Runner or something. All right, let's bring in these other bits of percussion. Kind of weird, but pretty cool.
So. Does this sound anything at all like where I started? No. But it does sound like something, and it does have kind of... Well, it has just as much complexity, if not more. And uh, now it's just about mixing, playing with this, switching things up here and there, you know? So it is uh, super fun. Um, yes, subsequence is indeed Black Dingus. Um, so, chat for a minute. I think I'm going to be wrapping this up in a few. Um, what I'll do is play out, uh, just jam a little bit on what I just created uh, in a couple minutes. If anyone has any questions for me, then I am happy to talk and answer them. And I'm thirsty as all hell. And need to make it to me. Ah, yes. Oh my gosh! Yes, happy birthday to me. Thank you. Well, it's technically tomorrow, but thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Black Dingus. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, I think I kind of know what I want to do here.
Alright. Cool. Well, I hope you folks enjoyed that. Um, oh, the pad sound. That is actually the bitbox in synthbox mode right now. So the abyss was not used at the moment. So, yeah. Well, thank you um, for hanging out. I appreciate it. And I uh, miss all you guys. Uh, don't know when we're going to be able to do shows again, but hopefully some point in the future. And hopefully this was entertaining to some of you. Uh, anyway, good night. I'm Dissonant, uh, New York Modular Society. And uh, we plan on actually streaming some real shows and music, not just demos. So stay tuned while we get things organized. But a lot more is going to be coming from us. Thanks, everybody. Take it easy.